So, quick update to the Amiga 1000. Uh, the whole time I was doing that video, I was using uh, this tank mouse, which is just a regular, you know, 500 or 2000 tank mouse with the normal straight uh, plug on it. Now, if you know your Amiga 1000s, you know that it came with the same tank mouse, basically, uh, but with a weird right angle plug on it. And it was kind of irritating me the whole time, but this is sticking out the side like that. So, I was watching a, a proper Amiga 1000 mouse on eBay the other week, uh, and it went for $340 for a mouse. Don't get me wrong, I love my Amiga 1000, but 340 bucks for a mouse? So I decided to have a go at making one myself. Now, don't get me wrong, this is by no means meant to fool anyone into thinking this is an original. Um, not at all, right. So. Other tank mouse, this actually already had its plug missing, so that's kind of a start, I guess. Uh, and what I did was this. This is a generic uh, strain relief uh, with the tip kind of trimmed off um, and painted. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of the one I bought. Uh, this is normally a IDC crimp style DE9 connector. Um, but because the wires are so thin, I actually had to solder it into the back of it. But I then got into my 3D designing uh, and came up with this. So that just pops into there like that. The strain relief goes in like that and the cable all neatly sits in there. Um, just got to make sure that the actual plug drops through and there's enough wire to allow it to so it doesn't tear the wires. And a little backing plate that's got some uh, pins on it. And there you go, one right angle um, tank mouse plug. Um, like I said, it's not designed to fool anyone into thinking it's an original but hopefully it just makes it less obvious instead of having the mouse kind of sticking straight out the side. Um, yeah, I don't think it looks too bad.